Hey, Freddy, can we get another uh, chair carton here? This one's full. Let me take these over to the stock room. What? What are you guys doing? Get out of here! Finger, 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 finger skate selective. Finger, finger skate selective. Finger, 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 finger skate selective. Finger, 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 finger skate selective. What up? It's Friday, May 27th, 2011. I am Frankie Finger Dex, and you're watching an all new episode of Ask Frankie Friday. Alright, so what up everyone? This is Ask Frankie Friday. Sorry I'm getting it posted so late. I had a little fingerboard conference in here that ran late, so sorry about that. So we are having a time crunch here. It's already after 10.30 p.m., so I'm just going to answer questions tonight. That's going to be it. But I bought a super cool random product of the week for next week. And no, it isn't Chris Haslam here, but say what up to him. But no, I got a super cool random product of the week that I was going to show you tonight, but I'm out of time. So I will get to it next week, so make sure you stay tuned for that. So without further ado, let's get right into the questions here. First one is from Storm and Norman 56. He asks, what's the difference between the Affliction Cruiser and the Cruiser from AFX? That's a very good question. They're the same. It's the exact same company. AFX is a weird abbreviation for Affliction. It is what it is. AFX faux life. Yo, yay. Make sure you guys hit up AfflictionFingerboards.com. Link right there in the description. Super nice stuff. Get a K deck, M deck, any kind of deck. They're all off the hook. Next question is from Awesome Core 3 do you play any skateboarding video games? I've been thinking about getting an Xbox or a PS3 for like over a year now, but everyone I ask, they say something different, so I really have no idea what to get. But there is a game called Thrasher Skate and Destroy. I know that's old school, right? But it's like endorsed by Thrasher, and it originally came out for the PS1, so it's super old. But anyway, I have like three copies of it. I love it. I still play it on the PS2. It's a super good game. It's got some uh, famous spots in it. It's really cool. I like that one a lot. Next question is from DS Kid 28 Frankie, do you drink soda? And if so, what kind? I really love Diet Dr. Pepper, but lately, I've been hitting the Diet Sunkissed pretty hard. Diet Sunkissed, holler at me. Next one here is from The Shaka Guy. Can we still join the Sickity Sick Team? Yes, for sure. The Sickity Sick Team was started back in the day for fingerboarders that didn't have a sponsor, and they could join up, and they would be able to represent a team, and it's really for anyone, all fingerboarders at every skill level. It used to be an actual group on YouTube that you could really join but now it's just what it is so but if you want the logo just send me a message with your email address and I will send you the logo that you can use in your videos and stuff and you can represent represent but the sickity sick team is really just a, a fingerboarding team for anyone that wants to join and represent so pretty cool that way next one here is from Trub Short could you do a mini of the month actually I stopped doing the trick of the day and line of the weeks on this account but I'm gonna start them up again on my second account that name is Frankie Finger Dex. I've just given up on it with this channel. I thought I was doing something good by featuring other people, and it's just like every trick of the day that I post would get more and more negative. It would have more thumbs down, and the last one I posted, I think it had 12 thumbs down the last time I looked, so I did what I could. I thought it was a good thing. People were getting featured and getting some hits, but I guess it wasn't because it just got more and more negative. But be on the lookout soon for the trick of the days and the line of the week starting back up on my second channel called called Frankie Finger Dex, so be on the lookout for that. You can keep sending clips. I'm still gonna use them. It just takes a minute, so yeah, be patient. A uh, mini of the month idea is super awesome. That would be really cool, but you have to email the clips, and I don't think you could email an entire mini, so yeah, that would be the only problem, but that is a good idea. Next question here is from Lorik54. When do you change normal foam grip tape? With my FSS tape, I normally change it, I would say between four and six months. Yes, it's a very long time, sometimes even long Longer than that. I probably had pieces on for over a year, but really it has to be pretty tore up and it'll start ripping up around the edges. When it starts really ripping up and falling off around the edges, then I'd go ahead and change it. But really, FSS tape for me seems to get better the longer I use it, so I try and keep it on as long as I can. Next question is from Fingerboard01. What's your favorite deck from Affliction? K deck for sure because super high kicks, you gotta love it. It is what it is. Affliction wasn't scared to come out with a high kick deck and be a little different than everyone else. Else. Gotta give them props for that. But lately, I've been shredding the M deck a lot. Like, seriously, a lot. And I think it's because I'm getting used to lower kicks now. So, I would have to say it's probably a tie between the K deck, the M deck, and the Cruiser. You gotta show the old school love. So, yeah. Those three are my favorite. 
Yo, yay. All right, and the last question of the day here is from Steez No Sketch. Can you review the Flatface G13? I will see what I can do. I heard they're wide. Are they extra wide or something? Yeah, I'll have to look into those more. I'll see if I can get one and review it. Oh, no. All right, guys, like I said, I'm sorry for the late post. It's been a crazy day. We had the conference in here. All right, but before I get out of here so I can get this edited and posted up for you guys, I'm going to give you guys a chance to win a prize. That's right. It's just a little something, something, so don't get excited. I'm going to give away two chairs, this black one and this silver one. These are the steesiest colors because most foldy chairs are really these colors. Yo, yay. Now, to win one of these, all you have to do is be a subscriber and comment in these comments why you should be the person to win a chair. Now, Make sure you guys give a thumbs up to who you think has the funniest or the best reason. And the people with the top two comments on Tuesday morning will win one of these chairs. Now, you can't be negative, offensive, or use foul language. Or you will be disqualified. Okay, so it is what it is. Comment right down there the reason why you should win one of these chairs. And vote. Make sure you guys vote for the comment that you think is the funniest or the best. That way we can figure out who has the top two comments and they will win a chair. So, you guys know what to do. Make sure you send your Frankie mail. You can buy a chair. They're $5 shipped inside the U.S., $7 shipped outside the U.S. Stickers, I have four styles available at $1 each. You guys know what to do. If you want to send Frankie mail, send it to Frankie Finger Decks, P.O. Box 256, Beverly Shores, Indiana, 46301. You can also hit up the Frankie phone. You can text or leave a message. Make sure you guys ask your question for next week's Ask Frankie Friday. Comment right down there for a shout out in the FSS news on Tuesday. I got a really cool random product for next Friday like I said so stay tuned for that. I got a lot of reviews coming up and that tutorial that I need to be posting. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. I will see you sooner than later.